When a 1.4-liter turbo engine appeared on the market in 2005, VAG announced a real revolution. The small-volume engine was comparable in its characteristics to a 2-liter naturally aspirated engine. And the consumption was even lower. The technical description of the 1.4 TSI BA111 made a serious impression. Turbocharging, double in some versions, direct fuel injection, timing chain drive, intercooler. Customers around the world chose this unit because the prospect of having a gasoline engine with the advantages of a diesel engine, but without its characteristic disadvantages, loomed. Unfortunately, an epiphany soon came. The first reports of problems began to appear. Owners began to increasingly return to service after several tens of thousands of kilometers. The list of defects of the 1.4 TSI during the initial production period is very long. Among the most serious, short-lived timing drive components, tensioner, guides, chain, problems with the phase regulator, destruction of pistons and rings, failure of the mechanical compressor clutch, twin charger since 2010. At high mileage, injector malfunctions occurred. In the latter case, it is difficult to judge whether this is due to a factory defect or low-quality fuel. I have good news for you, now, if you are planning to buy a used car, or learn more about your car, you no longer need to search for the information you need on the internet. We have collected everything in one place for you, on the website carme.pro. Here you can find out everything about the car, what brakes and at what mileage, any problems with engines, chassis or gearboxes, which trim levels are better not to mess with and how not to lose money buying a used car. You will learn all this on carme.pro. The 1.4 TSA engines were constantly improved during production. Other chains, tensioners, phase regulators and the related 1.2 TSI 8V appeared in 2009. It was used by VAG mainly in B-Class models. The updates reduced the failure rate, but timing-related faults were still observed, especially in the 1.2 TSI. This is partly due to poor quality materials and partly to too long oil change intervals. The latter was especially true for Europe, where the replacement interval reached an unimaginable 30,000 km. Such insolence did not benefit the timing chain tensioner and the phase regulator valve. 1.2-1.4 TSI EA211 In 2012, a completely new line of engines appeared, 1.2 and 1.4 TSI EA211 series. There are many differences. First of all, this is a timing belt drive. The engine became lighter and received a dual-circuit cooling system, additional electric pump. The 1.2 TSI introduced a 16-valve head. In the case of the 1.4 TSI, the displacement increased slightly, from 1390 to 1395 CM3. So far, nothing has been heard about systematic serious problems with the EA211. However, sometimes there are complaints about increased oil consumption, turbine malfunctions and malfunctions of the cylinder shutdown system, ACT, COD. But the overall impression is still positive. The timing belt used in the EA211 has a very significant declared resource, 210 to 240,000 kilometers. But this replacement interval seems very optimistic. Admittedly, 1.2-1.4 TSI engines, be it EA111 or EA211, are a lot of fun as long as they work. The dynamics of most versions are more than good, and fuel consumption is at the level of 6 to 9 liters per 100 kilometers. In large cars, like VW Passat, Chiron, Tiguan or Seat Alhambra, the consumption is, of course, much higher, and they drive only SOSO with small engines. In the B and C segments, turbo engines are almost flawless in terms of driving performance. Shown in 2005 1.4 TSI-170 horsepower, EA111, became revolutionary for its time. Direct fuel injection, 4 valves per cylinder, double supercharging using a turbocharger and a roots-type compressor, allowed us to obtain high torque at the very bottom and avoid the so-called turbo lag. To this it is worth adding a timing chain drive, a variable valve timing system and an air intercooler, 
intercooler. In 2006 to 2007, the offer was supplemented with versions with a power of 122, 125 horsepower, turbine only, and 140 to 150 horsepower, turbine plus compressor. The twin charger compressor was controlled by an electromagnetic clutch combined with a water pump. The 1.2 TSA engine, EA111, appeared in 2009 and, unlike the 1.4 TSI, had a single camshaft, OHC, 8V, and was boosted only by a turbocharger. The EA211 family with a timing belt drive was released in 2012. The new 1.4 TSI engines were optionally equipped with a cylinder deactivation system, COD or ACT, and a particulate filter, from 2017. The range also included versions running on natural gas, EA111 and 211, as well as those used in hybrid installations, EA211 in the A3 e-tron and Volkswagen Passat GTE. Depending on the manufacturer, the 1.2-1.4 TSI EA111 and EA211 engines have different markings, TSI in VW, Skoda and Seat, and TFSI in Audi. It is noteworthy that the engines of the EA111 family were produced in parallel with the EA211 until 2015. The 1.2 TSI and 1.4 TSI engines have earned a bad reputation due to the EA111 family. Against this background, the EA211 series is the standard of reliability. However, among the EA111 there are units that are the least risky. These are mainly varieties with a turbine, 122 and 125 horsepower. Stay away from the twin charger version, turbine plus compressor, which caused numerous problems throughout production, 2005 to 2015. During the production process, VAG refined the EA111 engines. So, in 2010, a modified phase regulator appeared, for example, for Saha with marking 03C109088E, the timing chain and its tensioner were updated. Due to a defective tensioner, the stretched chain could jump or break, which inevitably led to valves meeting the pistons. The list of parts to be replaced includes, chain, guides, tensioner, and usually gears and a phase shifter. The first symptom is a rattling noise after starting. In addition to the above malfunctions, oil consumption increased and turbine malfunctions were observed. The EA111 twin charger versions had a compressor that was switched off by an electromagnetic clutch at high speeds, around 3000. It is combined with a water pump. Sometimes the clutch began to make noise. After 2010, the disease began to occur less frequently. Damage to pistons and rings usually affected the EA111 twin charger. But from time to time I got a simple 1.4 TSI and 1.2 TSI. The 1.4 TSI and 1.2 TSI owe their notoriety to the EA111 family. Later EA2111 have so far avoided the failures of their predecessor. Today, in the era of the hunt for diesel engines announced in Europe, they represent a truly interesting alternative.